One of the things that's really clear to me in looking at text and data mining is that it is being used all the time, more or less, pretty universally against us. Ask yourself what role you want to be within the research system. Do you only want to be the subject of research or do you want to be the agent doing the research? So who has the ability to either license the databases that they're using or run the risk of using a lot of databases and maybe being liable later? That's just the major players. Governments and many large corporations, increasingly mid-sized corporations. Large movie studios, to pick one example, have access to exactly the kind of work that we'd love to be able to do to analyze the biases that they, that they make so much money off of. What language should I translate to? Most of the people that conduct this research in high-tech institutions with all the resources and infrastructure are in the global north. But when they are able to mine data, they do that without any limitation to geography. When you look at the world of research exceptions, you find that the poorest countries often have the least ability to engage in research. I find it very troubling that so many countries in Latin America are red. There is a fundamental power imbalance globally. Whether you're talking about climate change research or whether you are talking about research relating to medicines. So one of the big challenges is to make it possible for people to see the way that artificial intelligence will affect their day-to-day -day life, not just researchers, policymakers, but also um, ordinary people. You can, by way of uh, computational technologies, a sequence uh, the genetics of even a medicinal plant somewhere in Africa and upload it and everybody anywhere in the world can access it from their fancy laboratories. Ultimately, what I think matters is that we have diverse participation. When you begin to develop these policies, begin to think critically about those who are not optimally participating in this space, but whose data are unwillingly, inevitably, adapted into this space as well. I find it troubling that this is not a top priority in the discussion of artificial intelligence.